a lot of the women watching right now, they write a lot. Mm -hmm. They're writing blogs, they're writing articles, they're writing books. Mm -hmm. Some have tons of books. Mm -hmm. They're on Amazon, they're on Audible, mm -hmm. many even have publishers. Mm -hmm. But not many people make money writing books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do we make money? <laughs> that's a good question. Writing. Yeah, no, that's a good question. Because a lot of us are writers, mm -hmm. and women are particularly awesome yeah. writers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I feel like when I wrote my book, I knew it wasn't to become the New York Times bestseller. Not to say that that's not a goal that I want to have. In fact, I was thinking about this the other day. I'm like, actually, I want to be a number one Amazon seller because yeah. like <laughs> it's way bigger. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, but and there, it's real sales. It's yeah, not a exactly. Rigged, a rigged game. Exactly. But there are so many companies out there that can make your book into a bestseller if that's what you wanted. But you've got to understand what your end game is. So for me, my end game was that I could add author to my byline, and then I could use that to pitch to different podcasts and different publications and get more awareness about the other stuff that I was doing that's making money. Mm -hmm. So I, um, you know, my tagline is make your story beautiful and get seen. And the get seen part is really important because like, yes, you can make a brand story beautiful. Yes, you can make your writing beautiful. But then what do you do with it afterwards? Where are you going to find the traction to get your clients coming in to get money? So a lot of the money is in teaching other people. A lot of the money is in coaching other people. And a lot of the money is in the market and copywriting for companies, for yeah. brands, for even if it's a, a startup brand. You know, when I moved to Austin, I was freelancing for a health and wellness brand. They really liked me as a freelancer. They asked me if I'd come on full time. I was like, okay, I'll come on full time. Like, we'll see how it goes. I left the full time gig shortly thereafter, but they offered me a six figure salary because you know even as a startup they knew how vital that was and they'd been looking for a long time for someone who could do what I do mm -hmm. so you know if we're gonna be real about it and honest about it marketing copywriting is where you're gonna be able to charge the big bucks and that big bucks can range from $45 an hour to whatever three figure per hour you want to set Absolutely. or you know yeah. or you do it by a project basis you do it by retainer basis and honestly, at the end of the day, it's about you showing up as you authentically because mm -hmm. no matter where you are in the world, you're going to always form connections, even if it's an online business. So now I have another health and wellness client that likes me so much, they keep asking me to come out to Dallas to meet with them. <laughs> they had also said they've been looking for someone for a long time. And with them, I'm so much more frank and honest about like what I want for my business. They asked me this past time I was there, so how much longer do we get you for? You know, And that's the kind of response that you want. But you do that by doing good work and showing up authentically as yourself, you know, being yeah. like a good, concerted person. And if you're a mom, you're likely a very good person. Yeah. You have to be a very, like, you know, aware, you know, of, of giving up what you need sometimes for the greater good or whatever sure. it is. So it feels um, like an altruistic act sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And so, you know, I, there are so many opportunities um, to make money and maybe in the beginning it's doing some work that you're not super passionate about that's okay you build that nest egg you build your portfolio you get your um, you know bylines and stuff like that and then you go from there and you do the other things and then that's when you know as you've you've learned and you've made mistakes and you've acquired you know whatever knowledge you need then you can teach someone else who's a few steps behind you and start charging for a consultancy or you know <clears throat> in all of my expertise like you know, I'm more than just a writer like I do a lot of strategic marketing and a lot of branding so then I'm able to charge more for those services and so you just evolve and grow as you go but you be smart about like you know what it is that you're doing